baby, you got to get your mind together for this. Because this is a lot. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's C and I'm back with a new video. As you can tell by the title, um, today's video is how to survive grad school. Before I even get into that, be sure to like and subscribe, join the Survivor Squad, <laughs> and let's get into it. I'm not made up, I'm in a blanket in my office with my paper, my, um, my highlighters, my laptop this is how i work i just plan i'm like man i should probably wait till i'm all dolled up to talk about this and stuff like that but i wanted to be realistic like this is usually how i look when i'm studying this is how i look when i'm going through um doing my homework at night and usually i do my homework when kenley's asleep or she's not here or my husband is asleep or he's, you know, doing something else or he's at work or something like that. I try to do my homework and it's a little difficult because I work from home during the day, but I'm still trying to like get my life together and structure working from home and then um, cooking dinner and things like that. So by the time I get to my work, I'm tired, I'm over it. And to be honest, I don't like school. Like, I don't like school. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm in school because God has been, I don't want to say pushing, but he has, he has put the, continued to put the opportunity in my face for about the past five years and I haven't listened. So I'm finally back. I mean, I'm finally here. I'm finally doing it. So about June, 2020, that's when I first started grad school. And to keep it all the way 100 with y'all, I'm currently doing work, retaking some exams, two exams, because I got my sticky note right here. I'm retaking two exams and five assignments because in this program, I have to have a B or better. Three things that you will need to survive grad school. One is discipline. And we say that like it's something so easy, but being disciplined is hard. But that's why everybody doesn't do it. Because if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But you need discipline because for one, more than likely your grad school program is a lot of reading. And I underestimated the amount of reading that it has, which is why I'm having to sit here and do these, do these exams and do these assignments over. So off rip, I would say you need discipline. Two, you need grace and the reason i say grace is because i'm very hard on myself i'm my biggest critic and when i don't do something well or when i feel like it's taking me a lot to um adjust to it it makes me feel inadequate when that's not the case my husband reminds me often and i even have to affirm myself like sis you've been out of school for five years and then like st let's say statistics and stuff you're just not good at that so you have to practice it more than the average person and that's okay that doesn't make you dumb that doesn't make you illiterate it doesn't make you any of those things it just means that you have to work harder to perform well in this because this is not your area so i have to give myself grace with it because i have found myself crying i have found myself just like over it i'm like i I just might be a grad school dropout. I'm not gonna lie to you because this is not for me. And then I have to come back when I got myself together, like, okay, let's just tuck it, tough it out, thug it out and get this degree and go on about my business. As for the third thing, I would say to survive grad school, you need a great support system, not just good a great support system especially if you have children and i know like that may not be the case for everyone like they don't just have millions of family members to watch their kids or whatever but you definitely need to lean on your village like i'm i'm the type of person where naturally i tend to do a lot of things myself or just like i got it you know let me just do this kind of the superwoman syndrome 
that's what it is this is the superwoman syndrome and i tend to do a lot of things myself so with this work i'm having to find balance and prioritize things and i can't be there with my daughter as much as i would like to like you know when i put her in the bed it's time to get to work period like and sometimes it may be on the weekend so i will have to lean on my village to keep her for me while i take a test or my husband you know hey can you watch out can you listen out for her while i'm um studying or whatever just just whatever leaning on your village and even when he and i weren't married he would come over and play with her while i was studying because you know it might not have been anybody available to watch her or it was her night to be here instead of being at her dad's house so i wasn't going to you know try to try to let her go over there because she was supposed to be here so just things like that and that was really hard for me because i didn't want her to think i was kind of feeling mom guilt i didn't want her to think i'm a bad mom or whatever but I'm sacrificing in the short term for a long term gain. I'm going to have better opportunities. Prayerfully, I'm going to be making more. I'm going to have a little more freedom. Even though I have freedom now, I'm going to have a little more freedom than now. And that is the goal. So, goal. So, I just had to focus on those things. Lean on my village. Realize that I'm not a bad person for utilizing the support that's around me. So the first thing was discipline. The second thing was um, giving yourself grace. And the third thing is support or leaning on your village. So those are the main things. Of course, it's a few, it's a, it's a lot more things than that, but those three things and the fourth one, I give you a bonus, mindset. Baby, you gotta get your mind together for this. Because this is a lot, okay? And if you're a person like me who literally has serious anxiety and just really has to get their mind together, yeah, make sure that you do that. Um, or make sure you realize the severity of needing a mindset shift when it comes to this because it is not easy like and it's so crazy because you'll see people's um grad school pictures on instagram like oh my gosh she looks so cute i can't wait to this me hooded you know caption how people hashtag hooded all that kind of stuff like that looks cute but baby one thing i will be able to say is this was earned and not given okay because i'm i'll be over here scratched with a k Okay, and I and that may not be everybody's story, but for me, as for me in my house, <laughs> it's a struggle, and I'm not about to act like it's all glamorous because it's not. It's a real life struggle. However, it's not impossible. It's not impossible to do at all. So I hope that I did not discourage anyone because I am thankful. Though it's though it's difficult, I am thankful for the things that I'm learning. Um, because it's definitely making me more valuable. It's definitely increasing my skill set. I know that I will be able to use this once I'm out of school, um, and I will be able to use this to my benefit. But I did want to make sure that I gave a real raw picture of like how studying for grad school looks because it's real out here. <laughs> it's real but it can be done. And so I'm in my third semester now um, of grad school and your girl's getting it done. It may not be all pleasant, may not look all nice, but I'm getting it done. And when I do get it done, it will pay off literally and figuratively. And I pray that it does the same thing for you. This was just a really quick video um, just to introduce how to survive grad school i may do a part two or three to this y'all are going on the journey with me as i learn literally so i probably will do more in depth in depth i cannot talk today i probably will do more in depth q a type of videos 
as it pertains to this. But as of now, I just want to introduce how to survive grad school with those four tips. And if you have any tips of your own, whether you've been, you've graduated from grad school, whether you're currently in grad school or whatever the case may be, be sure to leave a comment below. Help us out because we need it. And like I said, it's real. So <laughs> be sure to leave those in, things in the comments. And again, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I got to get back to my work because it is late. So <laughs> before I look like a zombie tomorrow, your girl got to get back to her work. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.